Hello YouTube, this is Marauders here and previously I talked about this which is the super cheap uh, M-Link alternative and today I want to talk about this thing so this is basically a super cheap HDMI capture card with a HDMI out so that means this has a loop back this has a see there's an output here so this has a hdmi loop back so what essentially this means is that you can use this to record a game console while looking at its output in another on another monitor so you can actually use this to capture game footage and play on the game console at the same time because remember like i said there's a lag when you use this Thing if you are just browsing looking at the output in OBS and your video capture program so you can use this to play games that well there is of course also a lag on this one as well but because it has a output jack so that you can see the actual output signal in I guess it's gonna be more or less in real time we'll just do a quick test on the loop back afterwards Okay, so this is just a quick demonstration of the HDMI loopback for that HDMI uh, recording. So this is the actual loopback and that's basically the output output uh, into OBS. So if I move the selection. You, if you just look very closely, you can see that there's a very slight lag between when the selection changes from the main screen to the one in OBS so it's a very slight lag but I really don't recommend that you actually play without the HDMI loopback connector and tr if you try to just play by looking at your OBS output yeah you are gonna get wrecked because of the timing issues okay you definitely still you still need to output the the HDMI signal to an actual HDMI monitor in order to use this to play games properly. If you're doing other things like maybe just recording a video or or something that that would be fine. But if you want to do something that requires interactivity, yeah, no, don't don't try to do it by looking at the capture feed. Using a loopback should mean that you can play on your game console and record it at the same time so that means you can use this as a streaming capture card if you want to because again uh, this is horribly this is re horribly relatively cheap when you compare it to a elgato capture card you're not going to get the same performance you're not going to get the same quality but just as when i said it with this uh these two things are essentially about the same price, okay? This in Malaysian Ringgit, this cost me 50 Malaysian Ringgit. This cost me 60 Malaysian Ringgit. So if we convert that to US dollars, that's about you know, 15 to 20 US dollars. So it's like, yeah, if you're trying to stream on the budget, you can't go wrong with these things seriously this is i i i, I this is the they they work okay there are some cav caveats let's talk about some caveats okay but they work so the first obvious caveat is that this because this is a usb 2 capture card the it has to use mjpeg to do pass the signal through so it's not it's not a uh, raw it's not gonna be clean signal your your image is gonna be it's not gonna be crystal clear let, let's put it this way but again very very cheap okay uh and if, from, from what from what i i i've tested i would just have to say is that the volume they capture is a bit low so you have to push it up a bit in obs Oh, 
Uh, but uh, but other than that, it it works seriously at this price point. That's you can't complain much about it. Okay, the so it comes in at ten at ten eighty p. You can capture it at thirty frames per second, and you have to like setting this up in OBS. You also this thing also comes the audio and video is a separate. There are separate devices, so you have to set both of them up in OBS. And you want to, and there doesn't seem to be a delay in the audio signal compared to this one, which I find it a bit strange. Doesn't doesn't really make sense, but I don't find any delay. I did. I don't feel any delay on the audio when I'm using this to capture, other than the fact that it's a bit lower. Okay. Now, as I said just now. This, the capture device captures it at 1080p, 30 frames per second, so you don't get that silky smooth video gamey feel when you're looking at your footage, but there is a way to capture 60 FPS. Unfortunately, you have to capture it in 720p. So this thing can do 1080p 30 or 720p 60. Uh, I'll I can I'll put up some uh, comparison video right now so that you can see exactly what's the difference. The main thing here is that yeah, this at 720p 60, you get it. The frame rate will be smooth, nice and smooth. But at 720p, so you'll be the quality will be even lower than the the detail will be even lower than the 1080p. Uh, but well, some streaming services still only allow 720p when I was doing, when I recording this, uh, Facebook gaming only allowed me to stream at 720p. So, oh yeah, maybe that's fine. You can stream at 720p at 60 frames per second. So you still get a silky, silky smooth uh, appearance. So, okay. Other than that, I, you can't complain much about. It, okay, like like I said, this is a very 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 cheap HDMI capture card. Okay, the it works as long as you you don't you don't compl you don't look at it too hard. It works. You just want to show someone, hey, this is. My video gameplay footage. Don't worry about the the details. That it's not as sharp as what other people are showing, and you just want to capture it. This will work just fine. <laughs> if you don't ex if you're not expecting much from it, it will just work. Um. Ah yes, one one last caveat. So obviously you want to use this to capture your game console footage. And then you want to use this as your cam link to like maybe output a HDMI camera as your webcam. Uh, because they are H USB 2 devices and I think it's something to do with the USB 2 device. You can't just put both of these on the same USB hub or a same USB channel. So when I was doing testing, if I put this two in the same hub, only one of them could become active at a time, so I had to like put it in different main USB ports in my computer so that they could both I could capture video from both of them at the same time. So uh just something to take note to be aware of, okay? Your mileage may vary. USB is a bit funny. Yet. Okay? So uh, same thing as my previous video, if you are looking for it, just go to your favorite Lazada or AliExpress or whatever. Look for something that looks just like this. And just buy whichever one is the cheapest, I guess. You should be able to get the same thing. Okay. So if you really, really need a HDMI capture device and you, and you need it at a budget, and you don't okay that it works what can i say it works 
Okay, this is Marauders. I will see you all in the next video.